So in 4.4, one of the examples is permutations involving roots. Now when I say roots, we're talking about um, a path or a way to get from one place to another. And in this example, um, this is the house, this is your house or someone's house, and here's the school. And the different routes or the different paths that can be taken from house to school would be uh, any one of these uh, sort of roads here. Let's just say these are roads, okay, sidewalks, along roads, whatever. So if we're going from your house, you could go straight south there, and then you could go straight east to school. That's one possible permutation. That's one possible route to go to school. Uh, of course, another one we're dealing with, you know, you could go this way first, uh, straight east, and then straight south. You could do that one. That's the second one. And of course, as you, you know, as you can probably tell, there's all sorts of different ways that you could get to school. And how many exactly are there? Well. This problem is actually not that difficult. It, it might be difficult to count all of those, right? But if you take a, if you consider it with, uh, as a permutation with repetition, because there are many, uh, there's one, two, three, four, five blocks that go east in total, right? Uh, from, when it's, from when you begin to when you end, you have to go five blocks east. Uh, and then from beginning to end, you have to go three blocks so, so that has to happen no matter which way you cut it. So really, there are eight different, or there are eight sections to this problem, and five of them are repeating, and three of them are repeating. So when you're calculating the total number of roots, that's the way we want to look at it. We want to look at it as a permutation involving uh, repetition. Okay, repetition, uh, repetition. So. That looks wrong, but that's the way you spell that. Okay. So, the number of permutations would be how many blocks total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Eight factorial. And then if we have some sections that repeat, you have five blocks east, right? We count those up. And we have one, two, three, four, five. So there are five factorial, five of those eight repeat, and then the other three also repeat. So south, south, and south, three factorial. Now there's some, there are some assumptions here before we get to the final answer. The assumptions are that they are only, this person here is only traveling south and east. So for example, we're not considering all the possible iterations of this trip when you know, if this person was to go uh, south, then east, then south, then east, then up north again. Okay, we're not considering that because really, you know, there could be an infinite, <laughs> really, number of possibilities if you're doubling back. And, you know, it's like this is a person that really doesn't want to come to first class, right? Okay, so, yeah. Oh, sorry, it took me an hour and a half to get to school today. <laughs> I don't know why. But anyways, so we're only considering those two directions. Does that make sense? And these are the types of questions that you'll get. So if we, uh, if we do that, and instead of putting this just on your calculator, let's see if we can make some sense of this. I'm just going to write it out the full way. Uh, 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And this is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And we also have 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, so if you notice, and again, you don't have to do this, but there's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? Um, 3 times 2 times 1 is actually 6. <laughs> Does that make sense? And so what's 8 times 7? 56. So there's 56 different roots. Now, can you do that on your calculator? Of course. Uh, but I just wanted to show you um, that this makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. It, uh, well, let's read the problem again here. It says Julie's home is 3 blocks north and 5 blocks west of her school. Uh, how many routes can Julie take from home to school if she travels only south or east? So, yeah, that's the number of different different routes that can be taken from house to school. 56 different routes. Um, did I say that? I'm not sure. If, yeah, well, it's, it's, there are, this is the simple type of, of problem. So this is the, this is the type of problem that you'll see. Um, I did make them do it different ways. This is the only way that I'm going to make you do it, so. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Students didn't like this problem before because uh, I showed them another way, which actually is in your textbook as well, which they just, I don't know, didn't work out so well.
So here's the solution here that, I mean, basically this kind of here got people caught up, so I didn't, didn't have the energy the other day to do it. Um, this is sort of uh, just a little bit more abstract, which we'll just go with the formula. So this solution right here, Gene's solution, that's the one that we just took a look at right here. Okay, and there's the solution. Okay, any questions? I just wanted to go over that one example there, and uh, I'm not sure I have that. No? All right, so the next section that we're going to do is 4.7, which is basically putting all this together. Permutations, combinations, permutations with repetitions, fundamental counting principle. It's just kind of a little bit of everything all together. So, um, so that's your example for the uh, problems involving roots, and that's the only method that you're going to need to work on here.